Hi friends, in this video we will see question number 64 from ISRO May 2017 question paper. Please hit the subscribe button below this video to get all the latest updates from our channel. So question number 64 is, what is the output of the following program? And this is the program. And the options are A 20 10 10, B 20 10 20, C 20 20 20 and D 10 10 10. So now we will see the explanation to this question. But before going to the explanation, we will see what is static scoping. Static scoping is also called lexical scoping. In this scoping, a variable always refer to its top level environment. This is a property of the program text and unrelated to the runtime call static. Static scoping also make it easier to make a modular code as programmer can configure out the scope just by looking at the code. In contrast, dynamic scope requires the programmer to anticipate all possible dynamic contexts. So here we have the program. In this program, we need to check for the static scoping because static scoping is implemented in this program and that is the main thrust of the output. So here we can see that we had made this particular statement bold which is because int temp equals to 20 is the global variable here and after that main is starting inside the main we have two print statements and a function call this function call is declared here in this declaration we are having a static int temp equals to 0 statement which is a local variable to the function func so this particular is the scope for this temp and this one is the local variable and the scope for the local variable is this much only. So friends now we know that the scope of the temp in temp equals to 20 is the entire program and this static in temp equals to 10 is having the scope within this function func only. So when we execute the main function the first line printf %d, temp is going to check for the value of temp and within main there is no declaration or initialization for temp so it will check for the global variable or anything which this temp can find within its scope so this temp will find the value of temp as 20 so it will print 20 after that we have a function call in this function call we simply get our pointer to the function and within that there is a declaration to temp so temp is initialized here to 10 and in this printf statement temp is printed so this temp will check for the local variable is there any local variable named temp so yes we have a local variable in temp equals to 10 so here this temp will take the value as 10 and print that 10 value after that the pointer came back to the function call after that the statement is printf percentage g temp here again it will check for is there any value temp which is inside this scope so yes it will find the value this one not this one because this one is having scope here only so this temp will also find the global variable temp value so it will again print 20 not 10 so answer to our question is 20 10 and 20 is printed so friends as per our discussion answer to this question is option b that is 20 10 20 just because of the static scoping of the variables so friends thanks for watching our video please like subscribe our channel and share our videos to appreciate our work if you have any doubt or question please comment below and keep watching our channel for videos like this